Hey, Troy, it's Men's Health. We're here to see your gym and fridge. Hey, hey Men's Health. Come on in. All right, are you ready to work out? Okay, come on in. This is where the magic happens. At my other house, I had a much bigger gym. This one I, I made a little bit smaller and got the equipment in that I use most. How has your exercise regime changed over time? When I retired, I retired primarily because of my back. I was having a lot of back issues and, and I was told that my back would get better when I stopped getting hit. Well, five years into retirement, I was still having a lot of issues with my back and I just happened to walk into a gym one day and asked to meet with a trainer and talked with them about doing some programs for me. And so slowly started building up my low back area, doing a lot of core work, and uh, it's made a huge difference. So I've been pretty much back pain free for uh, over the last 15 years, made a huge difference in my life. Do you use any special equipment? A lot of dumbbells. I don't use barbells. Uh, as I've gotten older, I've just gotten away from it, a little less stress on my joints. and. Even uh, this free motion machine, this dual crossover machine has been fantastic, especially as I've gotten older to take a lot of the stress and everything else off my joints. What is your favorite workout? I do uh, dumbbell squats, of course, dumbbell bench, curls. How often do you work out? When COVID hit, I started doing a little bit more functional workouts. So I'm able to go out and do the garage and do some TRX bands and different things like that with ropes. It's been really good. And then of course the cardio which I do cardio five to six days a week and then lift four days a week is my routine and it has been for the better part of 15 years. Let's go check out your fridge. All right, let's take a look and see what's in the fridge. There we go. What do you always have in your fridge? I've got a chef who comes in a couple times a week, does meal prep, puts it in these containers, lots of vegetables, a little bit of protein, Got some salmon here, broccoli, and then for those moments of indulgence, got the eight elite light lager beer and plenty of that. How has your diet changed over the years? When I first started out with the Cowboys, I guess I ate like a lot of 22, 23 year olds, a lot of pizza, a lot of hamburgers and a lot of fried foods. And, and then as I've gotten older, I've gotten more and more disciplined with what I'm putting in my body and I've noticed the real benefits from it. So in 1994, we lost to the San Francisco 49ers in the NFC Championship game. Our first loss in the NFC Championship game. And it was at that moment where I just felt that I could get more regimented in my training and give myself the best chance to, to be successful as an athlete. And that's kind of where all this then started. What's your go-to comfort food? I don't have many cheat days. When I do have them, I will occasionally have a pizza and every now and then I'll sneak in an oatmeal cookie. Some people have one day a week cheat meal. I have one about every two or three months. What's your go-to burger order? My go-to burger is a grass-fed burger. I no longer eat it with a bun. The protein for me is really more about where it's sourced. So for beef, I want grass-fed beef and then pasture-raised chicken. Do you drink coffee? I start in the mornings with athletic greens. I take a number of supplements and vitamins and then uh, I move right from there, right into the coffee. So I'll do two to three cups of coffee a morning. I started drinking this big old jug of water here about three years ago. This is a gallon, always drank a lot of water. I remember being in a production meeting with Tom Brady when we were covering one of his games and he walked into our meeting with a big gallon jug like this. So I remembered that and I went out and bought this jug and thought I would keep track of how much water I was drinking. And what I realized was I wasn't drinking near as much water as I thought I had been. Sometimes taking this into restaurants and different places can be a little bit obnoxious, but I don't know. I tend to lose count when I'm trying to count bottles. How does your diet change when you're on the road? You know, I know the concern for a lot of people is when they're traveling and how are they able to still eat well. I travel a lot and I've never really found that to be an issue. I just tend to keep it real simple. Grilled chicken breast, fish, but I don't put any sauces on it, no butter, and just make it as plain and as easy as possible. Do you take any supplements? So this is kind of my routine every morning. Uh, I do athletic greens, and then these are the supplements that I take. Here's magnesium, uh, nitric oxide, vitamin D. This is one of the proteins that I use. And then Mark Hyman has his own protein called the Pegan Shake, which I think is fantastic. Pretty simple. 
All right, time for some rapid fire questions. Workout time, 7 a.m. or 7 p.m.? 7 a.m. Squat or deadlift? Uh, squat. Favorite song on playlist? <laughs> oh, man. Probably anything Melon Camp. Crossfit, yay or nay? Uh, nay. Pull ups or chin ups? Pull ups. Dumbbells or kettlebells? Uh, both. Run on the treadmill or the great outdoors? I like outdoors. Big legs or big arms? Uh, big arms. Biggest compliment, jacked, cut, ripped, or swole? Cut, I think. I was hoping lean was somewhere in there. If you could work out with anyone in the world, dead or alive, who would it be? Probably Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, men's health, great having you. Getting back to work. See ya.